Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the greatest load P the truss can support. First, we'll draw free body diagrams of the forces at joints A, B, C and D, assuming they are all tension forces. We will define tension forces as positive. Forces along trusses are drawn in pink and reaction forces are drawn in green. At C, there is a roller, so there is a reaction force perpendicular to the surface. And at A, there is a pin, so we will have both X and Y component forces. First, let's find the angle between FAB and the horizontal. Given that A equals 6 feet, the height of the triangle is 6 feet, and so is the base. Taking the tan inverse of this ratio, we get that the angle is 45 degrees. Next, let's find the angle between FAD and the horizontal. The base of this triangle is still equal to 6 feet but the height is a quarter of six, which is 1.5 feet. Taking the tan inverse of this ratio results in an angle of 14 degrees. Now, we'll evaluate the forces at joint A. The given information tells us that the maximum compression force that FAB can support is 800 pounds. So we'll assume FAB to be 800 pounds. Because it's a compressive force, we must flip the direction of FAB in our free body diagram. We can now write an equation for the sum of forces in the x direction. We get the following equation, which when isolated for FAD, results in a tension force of 583 pounds. The question tells us that the maximum force that FAD can support is 2,000 pounds and our answer satisfies this constraint. Next, we'll evaluate the forces at joint B. We know that FBA is 800 pounds in compression as previously assumed, so by symmetry, FBC must also equal 800 pounds. We are able to assume this since the geometry of the truss is symmetrical. Since both forces are compression forces, we must flip their directions in the free body diagram. Afterwards, we can write an equation for the sum of the vertical forces. The resulting equation is as follows, which when isolated for FBD results in a tension force of 1,131 pounds. The question tells us that the maximum force that FBD can support is 2,000 pounds, and our answer satisfies this constraint. Finally, we'll evaluate the forces at joint D. From our previous calculations, we've found that FDA is 583 pounds, in tension, and by symmetry, FDC must be as well. We also know the tension force of FBD that we just found. Afterwards, we can write an equation for the sum of the vertical forces. The resulting equation is as follows, which, when isolated for P, results in 848 pounds. Your answer is likely negative because P points in the downwards direction, since we set north as positive. And there you have it, quick statics answers.